Hi, I'm Sam Freeman with Make. In today's weekend project, we're going to show you how to build an internet kill switch that'll let you quickly and completely disconnect your computer or your whole network from the internet whenever you want. From automatically updating your software, to sharing your files, to using your processor's downtime to look for signals from outer space, there's lots of good stuff your computer can do with that always-on internet connection while you're away. Of course, it can also get up to a lot of trouble. Backdoors, botnets, adware, even mainstream commercial programs that play fast and loose with your privacy. Sure, they might provide a software setting, but do they always respect it? And even if the good programs allow you to configure internet access, the bad programs won't. When you need to be absolutely sure the internet is off, a hardware kill switch is a simple, foolproof solution. Put it on the wired connection between your computer and router and use it to isolate that computer from the internet beyond any doubt whenever you want. Or put it between your router and ISP hardware to control the connection for the entire house. Sure, you could just unplug the cable, but that's hard on the connectors and the kill switch is neater, faster, and better looking. And it's almost too simple not to build. Check out the step-by-step -step instructions on the project page and build along with us using these parts and these tools. Use a small screwdriver to snap the cover off the box. Snap the two jacks into the front panel and pop the front panel off the base plate. Now cut a four inch piece out of an old network cable. Remove and discard the outer jacket and any reinforcing fibers inside. Untwist the wires in each pair. The small plastic blade that comes with the jacks is called a punch down tool. Use it to connect the wires between the two jacks. On each jack, Match the wires to the color-coded labels marked with the letter A. Make sure to route the solid orange wire slightly up away from the rest so it can reach the switch. Use a ruler and a pencil to mark the center of the box lid. Drill a small pilot hole at the mark and then enlarge it to fit the barrel of your switch. Now cut the orange wire right in the middle. Strip the ends and hook them through the contacts of your switch. Finally, solder the connections in place. Now pop the jacks back into the base plate Tighten the nut to secure the switch, and snap the lid in place. To finish the kill switch, make a label to indicate the on and off positions, and mount it under the clear cover. Now you can connect the box between your computer and router and try it out. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to check out the project page where you can share your notes on the build. You know, I feel like we could do a little bit more with this. Let's try this one more time. To make one really awesome, you'll need these parts but you'll need a more impressive switch and a bigger box to mount it on. And these tools. Also, you'll need a rotary tool with a cutoff wheel. Wire the jacks as before, but when you get to the final orange wire, attach a four inch piece of wire to each jack. Strip the free ends. Use a rotary tool with a cutoff wheel to make an opening in the side of the box that fits the jack panel. Then snap the panel in place. Hook up your switch contacts as before and solder the leads in place. Drill a hole to mount the switch in the lid of the box. And then, attach the switch. Put the lid on the box and secure it with the bundled screws. Last but not least, add a label. You can make your own or download this one from the project page. Finally, plug your computer into one jack and your router into the other. Then all you have to do is